now and turn next to major developments in the war against ISIS, a major blow, in fact, to its leadership. The Pentagon now reporting tonight the group's second in command has been killed. So let's get right to ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, tonight. And Martha, this is a significant takedown. It is, David. The U.S. State Department had put a $7 million bounty on Haji Imam's head. The ISIS second-in-command was responsible for attacks in and outside of Iraq and Syria. This was a very dangerous mission. U.S. Special Operations Forces on the ground in Syria killing the ISIS commander, David. And Martha, you were telling us he's not the only top leader taken down. Uh, he is not. Earlier this month, there was a successful airstrike against Omar al-Shashani, or Omar the Chechen, the ISIS minister of war, a ruthless, battle-tested leader. Pentagon officials also said today they are expecting more U.S. troops to be sent to Iraq and that U.S. Marines are now providing artillery fire on the ground to back up the Iraqi forces. The Secretary of Defense saying today, David, the momentum of this campaign is clearly on our side. David. All right, Martha Raddatz live in Washington. Martha, thank you.